Hey guys, it's Sam with 2Ms and welcome to this exclusive interview. I'm so excited to be here with all of you and joining me is an incredible multifaceted artist who kicked off 2022 with his newest self-titled Chinese track. So everyone, please welcome Jackson Wang. Hi, this is Jackson. First of all, I didn't kick off 2021 yet. Uh, but yes, I released my new song called Jackson Wang. Mm -hmm. It's uh, briefly mm -hmm. talking about um, my life and mm -hmm. everything that I, uh, until, until 27, until mm -hmm. this point, and yeah. Ooh. Well, we're really excited that you're able to release this track, obviously with, I mean, the new year, I mean, not kicking off 2022 yet, um, but how has it been this so far for you, this new year? I mean, uh, it's, it's going, I'm staying busy. I'm staying busy, mm -hmm. I'm preparing my uh, English album. I'm preparing my Chinese album. Um, I'm, a lot of stuff going on this year. It's mainly going to be around uh, around music, and that's it. I think it's going to be a music year for me, and mm -hmm. I'm only going to do music this year. Yeah. Well, we're excited for that. You have a lot of things going on, an English album, Chinese album too, and we love to see it. Obviously, we can't wait for all of the amazing things you are going to be doing in 2022. Hopefully stopping by Manila, you know, maybe in the future, because obviously you know we miss you. The pandemic, you know, mm -hmm. I I can't wait until everything calms down a little bit. And mm -hmm. so we get to travel again. I, I can't mm -hmm. wait until the next time me, you know, stopping by Manila, you know, mm -hmm. have some have some uh, good food, uh, see some good people audience i want to uh, perform for them entertain them mm -hmm. i want to do a lot <laughs> definite mood right there but do not worry jackson because i personally on behalf of all the filipinos you're always welcome here when the time is right um you we would love to have you over here but what do you remember most about the last time you were in the philippines i mean you know what's interesting like mm -hmm. before uh me going to manila in the philippines uh, before me becoming an artist, my I think I competed in Manila. No way. I, I, I uh, when I was a fencer, I competed in for Manila. fencing. Yes, and then <gasps> I, got, I got first runner up. I got second place, and yeah. But I mean, I was in this mall. I forgot what mm -hmm. mall it was. I was in this mall, and they had like, they had Milo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they had <laughs> good and mm -hmm. yeah and you know good people very very nice you know very a lot of a lot of like food I forgot mm -hmm. but it was an ex mm -hmm. amazing exper experience and I was in this hotel that was really high up there I forgot what, mm -hmm. what, what it was called but mm -hmm. you know the thing about traveling uh you know when you work is airport mm -hmm. hotel and the venue and then mm -hmm. hotel and airport so you don't really get, get to you know travel a lot like to see what's 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 out there you know what's the what's the what's the hot place what's the mm -hmm. what's a restaurant or a chill spot you know you don't really know so so it's like i'm there i was there but i'm not you know yeah no definitely but i love that whole anecdote of the milo <laughs> I feel like that's very memorable for you and also that competition. So I'm happy that, you know, Manila has a special place in your heart and we can't wait to have you back. But for now, obviously, we will have to savor all of your music online and everything that you do online. But congratulations once again on the release of your newest Chinese single, Jackson Wang. So how does it feel to be, you know, releasing this track that's clearly very personal and very close to you? You see, uh, the thing is, when I released this song, I, I was mm -hmm. I was thinking uh, a lot of the public, uh, the audience or whoever that uh, a lot of people that know of me or not or not, uh, they know me of. Oh, I seen them on shows, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a celebrity or even a singer, uh, whatever he is. Oh, he 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 knows he knows a bit, you know, how to sing, how to how to how to dance. Okay, he's he has a sense of humor, whatever, right? But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like, who is he? The, who is this guy? And and what is he about? Like, what does he want to do? So, I really want to deliver that message through this mm -hmm. song, and I wrote it, everything. I wrote everything in Chinese. And uh, yeah, about 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 what I've been through, and 
uh, along along all these years and um, what I really wanted to. Mm-hmm. So so you you, you kind of you can find out through through like about everything in this song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's what I love about the song. I feel like it's 100, 100% you, like everything that you wanted to express about your story and your journey so far through the music, which is one of my favorite things that you do. I thought that was amazing being able to channel all of that through the song. So what was it like building everything to co- uh, together to convey the story you wanted to tell? Obviously, there was a lot of going back down memory lane. So what was that like? For you? Oh, I wanted a song that's really talking about me. You know, it's not like, mm-hmm. I mean, all the all the previous releases, it's, it was all about me. But, you know, like A Hundred Ways or even like LMLY or Pretty Please, you know, all these songs, Bullet to the Heart, Titanic, it was all me. But there was still like a theme to it. You feel what I mean? Like for A Hundred mm-hmm. Ways, it's like, it, there's a theme to it. It's like a love story, but it's still about me, but it's not at the same time. Yeah. Like I don't wear that. 24 7 you know I don't wear that ancient costume 24 7 I don't wear them to sleep you know so so what went when I've always wanted to create a song that's just about me no matter if I no matter if it's a flop you know if it becomes successful whatever you know I, I it, it's all it's it's all I think it's a good uh, approach and it's you know something that I really wanted to do and mm-hmm. and when probably like you know 10 years plus I look back. Oh, it's a good memory, and and mm-hmm. I had a I had a great time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I really love the song because it really conveyed a very touching, inspiring, and personal, yet very relatable story for everyone. I feel like we've all kind of gone through similar things in our lives too. So uh, I was also reading like comments on YouTube and people were touched by specific lyrics that you had on the song. Um, so I'm going to be reading out like the English translation for them. So maybe you could talk I wrote, more I wrote, about I wrote the translation, by the way. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So I'll be using the official English yeah. translation. The thing is, the thing is when, yeah. you know, of course, we mm-hmm. have a team to translate everything, mm-hmm. you know, like very professional, mm-hmm. like lovely people. Yeah. And sometimes, uh, you know, the translation, even on like, uh, it's too, it's too serious, you know, sometimes mm. too serious. It's too official. It's almost like, you know, Google Translate. So I was just like, oh, you know what? I, I, it's my lyrics. I wrote them anyways. So mm-hmm. let me write the translation too. I love that. That added Jackson Wang personal touch, you guys, with the translations. Um, but there's quite a lot of lyrics that really spoke to a lot of people's hearts. I think one of which being, she gently patted my head and told me not to worry about the bill. She said, must be tough to be here all alone at such a young age. I would never tell my parents about the lows. So I feel like a lot of kids, especially Asian kids, can definitely relate to this. So can you tell us more about this like, whole experience? Uh... I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's like mm-hmm. just Asian kids, but mm-hmm. the way I grew up is, I don't know. It's just a natural, it's just in the, in, in my gene that, yeah. you know, the last thing you would want your parents to know is that you're suffering, you know, and you're, you're having a hard time. And especially when you are, um, when you're like at a young age and you go abroad and you have to start off everything like from zero, you know, and, mm-hmm. and you know, you suck. At, at, uh, from time to time it's just it's just so hard and the fact that you're leaving your parents like leaving everything mm-hmm. behind and traveling to another country another place that itself uh your parents will worry about that are you safe are you eating are you sleeping are you taking your supplements or are you this and that so on top of that you you just you, you just don't want to you just don't want to tell them anything extra to, mm-hmm. to, to, to let them worry even more. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's so every time, you know, every time when my parents, uh, when we have, when, when we communicate, when we, um, when we're on a call, I always say, you know, I'm good. I mean, like, it's all good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the star here and, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm killing it. Don't worry. (laughs) Yeah. 
I love yeah. that. Shout out to your parents. I know um, they must have worried a lot for you, but also watched out for you. But yeah, like you said, you know, you're doing amazing things with the certain risks that you took also in your journey. So that's amazing. And that, you know, paid off. But I thought another one that was really cool was um, looking up at a 45 degree angle. I'm still going for the same dream. I was holding on to a fencing sword and became a microphone, obviously referencing the fencing. So how does it feel like kind of, you know, that transition from, you know, being the athlete and then into the music? I mean, like technically, like skill set. You, you, of course, it's like a different skill set. One is as an athlete, as a fencer, but on the other side is 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 is, is being a singer, being a performer. Right? Skill set is different, but I think that vision wise, it's still the same. Uh, I'm still fighting for the same thing. I'm still fighting for this mm-hmm. uh, the same dream. You know, and mm-hmm. and you know, standing there, 45 degrees. It's um, it's actually trying to imply. You know, back when I was a fencer, I was standing on the podium and, you know, I was, I was um, watching my, 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 my flag, you know, my, my, the flag from my place. And I, I, I was watching it rising, you know, that, that was the moment I remember the most uh, when, 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 when I was an athlete. Yeah. And I was trying to imply mm-hmm. that, like, I'm still doing that. It's just that. Um, it's not fencing now. It's, 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 it's being an artist. You know? That is so true. I love that you put it that way now. And I can t- definitely, see, definitely see like the connect between the two, um, kind of the same focus and discipline that goes into both mm-hmm. like sports and music. So I thought that that was really cool too. It gave us like a whole picture of like the, a lot of the things that you experienced, obviously in your life and, you know, the journey that you've had, had to go through to get to where you are now. So if you could go back in time and give advice to your younger self, Jackson, before all of this started, what would you say to him? I would say, you know, keep doing what you're doing, but at the same mm. time, I would say work harder and uh, it could have been better. And uh, yeah, I would, if, if I can relive my, my, my previous 10 years, I would work harder. Yeah, mm. definitely work harder. Ooh, so younger Jackson, if you're listening. <laughs> This is the advice that Jackson would give you, but we love to see where you are now. Obviously, we love to see it. We love everything that you've done so far and makes us even more excited for everything you have going on. Like, of course, the Chinese album and also the English album that you have coming up. And we can't wait for all of it. But I'm sure, like I said, your Filipino fans miss you. So before I let you go, Jackson, you have a message to all of your Filipino fans who are eagerly waiting for you to come back and just really enjoying all of your music and everything that you do online. Uh, First of all, Happy New Year uh 2022 you know time flies and uh i love you manila Uh, please stay healthy i can't wait until you know the next time i go there it's probably you know it might be a surprise i'll just i'll just be be there without letting anybody know and uh i can't wait until the pandemic is over i i want to go and perform for everybody and have milo with you guys Ooh, I love that like element of surprise. Okay, we see you, Jackson. Or we don't see you because it is a surprise. So we can't wait um, for when that does happen. So thank you so much, Jackson, for all of your music and everything that you've done as an artist. We definitely appreciate it, especially during these hard times. So thank you so much for joining us here on thank you so it was great much. to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jackson. Thank you, everyone.